On the spot with on Wally spot. Peterson. What do you got going on this weekend, Wally? Wally Palooza 2. Uh, music festival, three days, 29 acts. Band, solo artist, band, solo artist. For the most part, I had to shift it around a little bit. We'll have some back to back stuff. So, uh, when does that happen? Friday from 6 to 10, Saturday from noon to 10-ish 10, 10 each day, and then Sunday from 1 to 8.39-ish. How many acts do you have on? 29. Total. 29 acts, so yeah. three days. Yes. So, uh, where is it being held? High Water Social, which is connected to Inner Banks Marina, which is the very last thing you pass before you go over the bridge from Chocolate to downtown Washington. It's over on the, the very left. last thing on your left. Or if you're coming from Washington, the very first thing on your, on your right. There will be, there's limited parking there. Four or five boat slips we can use, a little bit of parking. There's going to be another lot within short walking distance just down the strip there with okay. extra parking. Consolidate, drop off. Carpool. Carpool, drop Get off. Get your friends together, come park, on. Park downtown Washington and walk across the bridge. Are we allowed to bring our coolers? No, no outside coolers, no outside food or drinks. There will be food trucks and people cooking. And High Water Social and has High Water a full Social bar. is selling any liquor, alcohol, soda, and water. Who owns the High Water Social? Uh, Laura Scoble. She's very supportive of the music. Scene. Very much so. She also that she and, and uh, Kathy also own Backwater Jackson, Washington. Right, and, and they for, got... ye for years they've been supporting local music. She they? was one of the first people I came across actually when I started doing. And blog. you know they opened they've Backwater awesome. Social in 2020. Yeah. yeah. So that's fantastic. Yeah, she's very, very uh, supportive of the yeah. live music scene. So what are you most excited about as far as uh, coming up this weekend? Um, most excited about people helping me, so I don't kill myself. So, um, <laughs> but, so do you do this all by yourself? Last, well, no, no. How did this all come about? I, I, had, I, I thought of it last year because they were having something downtown, I think, with the college or something. And they had Down some, here in Greenville? And they had some teeny bopper from Nashville who was the next big star, you know, that they brought in and paid to come sing at this thing. And I, and I was like, why? There's so many good acts around here. You could pay a lot less money and they'd be thrilled and sound better. Or they bring in the act from the 90s who had one hit. I'm not going to name any names. Right. But really, who wants to hear any other songs from them? other than the one or two hits. Or who knows any other And they songs don't know any of the others, whereas right. you pull in some local act that's really good at cover band music. We have a very tight music scene yeah. down here. And uh, when you put out the word that you wanted to do a local festival last year, what was the response? Um, it was like overwhelming. Just like people were like, yeah. I want to do it, I want to do it, and uh, and people helped, and of course nobody charged anything, and it was a potluck last year because it was in my yard. Right. So we had it. We had the same uh, real fly cooking crew that'll be there Saturday from 12 to 6. Nice. And they're fantastic. Really good, good food. Really good, good food. food. You don't even and have to the worry rest, about it. The Just rest of the weekend we have Mama's E Papa's to okay. uh, which is a food truck that does burritos and so forth. And I have not tasted them, but I have heard from good authority that they are uh, one of the top food trucks. And then we've got another guy that's coming that does like uh, it's the snack cabinet. They do uh, frozen, I mean, uh, deep fried desserts and funnel cakes and stuff like that. So it's really different though when you take it from your backyard and you put it actually yeah. in a venue. You have to, we have to accommodate more people. Right. It's a 3 a.m. event, but there's no camping. No camping, no overnight. So it's no overnight. And no, so no camping, no coolers. So in some cases, no people, foolishness. No foolishness ever. Never in the it's music It's a family business. affair. So if you want to come out and support the local live entertainment scene, what do you see for the future, though, for this Wally Palooza? Uh, like we were talking earlier, it's going to happen. And I told several people already, we right. have to get a committee together of people before I commit to doing it next year because it's growing quickly and it's a little overwhelming. So, so if you're looking to, for a, let's say, volunteer opportunity within the local live music scene, this is the man to support.
we'll start talking but about this like next month. I will say that <laughs> if a good committee is put together, I really don't see. I don't see a lot of limits. I mean, the sky's the limit. we get businesses to support things. We get actually get bands paid. Didn't right. mention that, but by the way, everybody's doing everything for free. The venue, Everybody. Venues free. Bands are all playing free. <laughs> Everybody's donating their donating their, time. their equipment. Yeah. Donating their, their equipment. You know, yeah. Their equipment's expensive, you know. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just, basically my PA equipment plus what I can scavenge from other people. And we have a lot of people that really support the live local music scene. Yesterday, you put out a post about needing a little bit of equipment for the stage. Who who reached out to you? What do you need? Yeah. Uh, well, my friend Pat that was just here brought me a bass amp. Uh, for everybody to use, and uh, he did the same thing last year. And I, I was talking with uh, Adrian Watts, who everyone knows. From Trainwreck. Uh, I was talking with him yesterday. He's yeah, from Trainwreck, who are closing out Sunday, but like, the whole event. So you can Which they did last out. year, too. And uh, I was talking with Adrian yesterday, and I mentioned that to him, and he said, Oh, well, I've got these two amps that I haven't used in over a year, if you want to use them for the weekend, and they were perfect because they're two amps, and one's a smaller and one's a half stack. So we got options now so yeah people are very helpful Chrissy uh, talk, I talked to her last night and uh, she rounded up a trailer to haul stuff from my house there on Friday over, overnight and found me two shade tents to put over a sound booth and so forth she's gonna be it's gonna be hot folks it's yeah. gonna be hot bring make sure your tent make sure you have like over. a towel that you can wrap around you with a hat water. yeah yeah we have t-shirts for sale Oh, okay. I expect them to sell out very quickly. I only got 100 and there are 35 to 40 pre-orders out of that. So there's only about 60 to 65 available. Did you hear that? They'll probably sell very quick. If there's a big demand for it like there was last year, I'll make a list, pre-order, pre have people prepay for another 50 or 100 or whatever. And is there going to be tip jars around? There will be tip jars. There will be a, a jar to donate to uh, Eagle's Wings Food Pantry, which is a local Washington food pantry, which serves about 800 families. Uh, to donate to Sound Rivers, which is a water conservation organization for the Pamlico. Um, to donate to the bands. Maybe just to donate in general to the festival. The festival and the event and all the expenses that it goes mm -hmm. into putting, I and mean, this takes a lot of time. So, yeah, bring so. some cash. Bring a little extra cash, <laughs> throw it in the tip jars. But buy a t-shirt. If you get there. I don't want to lose money on this event. I'm buying, I'm right buying three, so <laughs> hurry up. Thank you, Wally. Thank you for all you do for the live music Thank you. Scene. You too. And uh, he's also here every Monday. At yes, AJ's. We're right here at AJ McMurphy's in Greenville. His festival is in Washington. He represents both Pitt and Beaufort counties. Come out out and support him this weekend, Friday through Sunday, 29 acts, one event. Thank you all.